Hey everybody! It's me, Zahira. <laughs> I'm Octavia <laughs> from RuPaul's Drag Race UK, UK season, season six. six. I'm here with the latest Elimini from RuPaul's Drag Race UK. And we are going to Kiki, we're gonna get ready. We are, we are. Talk about our friendship, our sisterhood. <laughs> Oh. Tell me what wig you're wearing. You're looking gorgeous. Um, this and this gorgeous wiggy woos are a custom Octavia wiggies. Miss <laughs> <laughs> hair wigs. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yes, they are my wigs. I don't think a promotion's not open right now. Yeah. We're a bit busy right True. now. True. But um, when commissions open, if you want your own very own slick back. Baby, then you can she look the like girl. then you can look like Miss Octavia right here or Miss Zahira right here. Period. I'm sure you want to look like her. <laughs> <laughs> um. So with all that said, I hope that you enjoy the rest of the video, and we're gonna kiki and cut up and talk about and talk some shit. Yes, let's do it. It's Tuffy and Ivory. Tuffy and Ivory. Tuffy and Ivory. Tuffy yogurt. Yogi. Yes! Oh god. Tuffy. Tuffy. Yogi. Yogi. Uh, <laughs> So we're getting ready for a gig, you guys. Um, so we're fresh off of episode seven of RuPaul's Drag Race UK season six. We are, we are. How are you feeling? I'm feeling fine. Um, but yeah, no, I feel fine. Like, I think I definitely could have done better overall with my run, but I think it's Drag Race. I'm going to be nervous. I'm not going to, like, be too hard on myself about it. But yeah, I'm, like, happy. I had fun. And I'm not being funny, on the note I left on, I couldn't, I literally said it on my exit interview, I couldn't leave feeling sad because mm -hmm. I literally got told by Mother Roops that they very much enjoyed me, so. No, she didn't. She said, I love you. I love you. Well, I love you, mama. <laughs> How many times has she said to a queen, I love you? Like, that's bananas. That's bananas. Like, come on now. Come on now. You could tell, like, that Mama Ru had, like, a proper soft spot for, for Octavia. Not just from watching the show, but also being there physically. Like, Mom really loved her daughter. Especially when she was hee-heeing around the place. Exactly. <laughs> Which I hated doing. Like, I... But she loved it. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like with Drag Race and, like, RuPaul, like... There's certain things where, when it airs, it might mm -hmm. not be funny to the audience. And, like, to be honest, like, doing the whole Michael Jackson thing for, like, the fourth time wasn't funny to me. No. And I knew it was getting annoying. But it, I was like, it's, it's like Paul likes it, I'm gonna do it. So let's flash back to the start of the episode and Mama Ru announces that it's Freezical Week. So, yes. what's going through your mind and how are you feeling coming into this new week? I think I... When I found out it was a Ruse call, I was excited because obviously that involves some sort of dancing, which mm -hmm. is like, I know I'm good at. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like I'm definitely the type of person to be like, not, I'm not the type of person to be like, I'm good at this, I'm good at that. But when it comes to dancing, I know I'm good at it. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, I know I can't sing for shit. So I was like, it really depends on what the Ruse call is. Yeah. So then when we found out it was like Top of the Pops UK Divas, it sounded really calm. I, the, what made me worry about it was I was the youngest in the cast and the most pe the people I listened to most is like Miley Cyrus, Doja Cat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. None of them are British and yeah. also they're very my generation. Mm -hmm. So I knew everyone on the list, but I was like, none of them are me. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought after listening to the song, Jerry was very much like the more upbeat one. So I was like, okay, I'm going to show my more strength in dance, which I did. But then when Michelle was like, surprised I didn't know all about Jerry and like all that, it's like, I didn't grow up with Jerry. And no. like, and that's no shade like Yeah, you grew up with Little Mix. <laughs> 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 all right, not that fucking young girl. So top seven, how are you feeling? Like you got so far, like you did amazing. Episode seven, top seven, come on now. I'm feeling good, I mean, Getting on Drag Race as a whole was just very much like, I knew I could do it, but I was also like, never told myself, yeah, I'm gonna get on this season and whatnot, because I thought I was only gonna set myself up for, like, what's the word? Not the pressure. Disappointment. Not the pressure, not again! Disappointment. Um, yeah, disappointment. But then when I got the call, I was like, okay, that feels right. So getting to top seven is a bit like crazy. So before the show, Axe so tell me how you got into drag, like, 
um, what made you decide to go on the show, uh, how long have you been doing it? Well, as everyone already bloody knows, because all I speak about is being Welsh. Um, you yeah, live I, in a small town. Yeah, I, live in a, I live, used to live in a really small town, so there was like no anything of the sort that was like drag, anything like remotely queer. Mm -hmm. So then, what's Drag Race? And then... I feel like nowadays, especially with this generation, there's a lot of like, oh, I'm getting, I'm starting drag because I want to get on Drag Race. Mm -hmm. And then there's queens that have started drag because they've noticed drag because of it. And yes, 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 yes. But yes. like, I, I do drag, I, I would still do drag regardless if I was to get on Drag Race. Period. Like, that was just like Period. my first view into it. Period. So, and then, and at, at that time, I wanted to be a dance teacher, but I was questioning it. So it all just came up the correct time where I was like... Oh no, this is what I'm meant to be doing. Like yeah. All, just all fell into place. I'm inserting here pictures of early acting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love you. I love you. The, the black and white one is my favourite. The black and white one. The mirror, where you like this. Shut up. Because it's, it's so good. Where'd you get your sense of humour from? It's so good. My dad passing away. <laughs> 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 So, what made you decide to go to Manchester? Was it work? Was it drag? Um, How I... did you end up here? Because I've been living in Manchester at that... that how many years have you been here? Um, two and a half now, so I've just moved. Yeah, so I've already been living in Manchester at that point that you moved here, probably like three years here in Manchester. Yeah. And you just appeared out of nowhere. Yeah, fully. <laughs> so, like, how did that come about? So I am from North Hills, but at the time I decided to move to Manchester, I was in Newport, which is in South. Yes, um, yes, yes, yes. And I was in a relationship and it just didn't work out and I was just kind of like, okay, I want to move. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I just decided to do exactly that. What made you decide to go on the show and how many times did you audition? I decided to go on the show, well, there wasn't really like a specific point where I was like, okay, I want to audition. Like, I always knew I wanted to do Drag Race, just because things like touring and like performing, like being on, like I love drag, I've stuck like, sometimes my makeup is questionable, but I do really like all aspects of drag. Mm -hmm. But performing is where like, your heart lies. Yes. So I think Drag Race is like, just the best platform to be able to start touring, you know, do more gigs and just, mm -hmm. Generally having drag as like a full time job, mm -hmm. so why not? So I auditioned for season five, but I'm really glad I didn't get on for season five. To be honest, it was just kind of like a trial run, so yes. I knew what I was doing. Yes. And then when I was auditioning for season six, I was like, I'm not gonna go too serious with it because I've heard so many people be like, just go do, do whatever, and then that's mm -hmm. how it works better. So that's what I did. But in and my it head, worked. Yeah, and then in my head I was like, no girl, I want to get on this season. Like I want to, and then I did. Stunning. So, yeah, so this is my first year auditioning. Yeah, I know, you bitch. But I knew I was gonna get on. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. No, I was like, like, it felt like for me, when I auditioned for season six and decided to audition for season six, I was like, I'm ready. You're Little ready. did I know when I got there, <laughs> it was like, you're like me. It, it's, 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 yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. episode one. I come in, Chanel comes in, and then it was you. Oh yeah, bitch, and I knew you were there. I have uh -huh. like, let's be honest, we all hear rumours about who's going to be yes, on. Yes, yes, yes. But like, and I heard rumours that you were meant to be on like, a few days before we had left. Uh-huh. And then, I had the confirmation that you were there when I walked in, and <laughs> halfway through my entrance, I'm going, ah, 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 how am I meant to look when someone's literally having like a fucking fit? Yeah. I mean, not surprised. Yeah, I was so, <laughs> no, honestly, I was so excited to see you there. No, I was as well. Because I was like, one of like the things that I was scared of heading into the show was how is everybody going to be? And for the most part, everybody was really nice. So, and to have a friendly face there, I knew that I had my sister with me and the journey would have been so much better yeah. with her there. And I felt like I had a piece of home a little bit. Although me and Aki, we've worked on a few gigs together in the past. I do feel like Drag Race is what solidified like our friendship. Yeah, because I was gonna say like, 
when I meet new queens, I'm not always the most like, oh my god, hi, uh, like the, the loudest. Mm -hmm. I take like time because mm -hmm. like I'm just not that person automatically. Yeah, but yeah. But then yeah. with you, it was just like non-stop like laughter. I was like, I am the comedy queen on this fucking street right now. Like uh -huh. I was coming out with the, like I'm not a comedy queen at all, but like I don't know. It was just very easy. Yeah, it, it felt very organic and natural. Like I yeah. don't feel like I ha ever have to be anybody else, but myself around Octavia and we bully each other and that's just I think that's just our friendship and our humour to be honest. You bully me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you bully me all the time. She does check up on me and ask me how I'm doing and stuff like that. I know it's so it sounds so minuscule and whatever but like we were each other's shoulder to cry on. Honestly like when she was in the bottom for episode two, when I was in the bottom for oh, episode yeah. four, like we would help each other out. Girls give like I need bobby pins. She would. Give oh my me god, bobby no. Pins. Well, no. I was asking you for a pin. I was like, Vahira, can I borrow this palette? You're like, yeah. And I was like, Vahira, do you have this? Yeah, no. She used a lot. Vahira, can you make my gloves for the design challenge? Thanks. <laughs> Quick fire questions. Favorite challenge? Cabaret. Least favorite challenge? Uh, funny enough, improv. Snatch game was the worst. Snatch Game? Yeah. Oh my god. Snatch Game was the worst, I think. When I sat down on Snatch Game, I was just like, oh my fucking god, I want the ground to swallow me whole. But that was just me getting in my own head. Biggest competition walking in. Who, th who did you look at and think, that's my competition right there? Kyron. She was mine as well. Yeah, I think with like Kyron's aesthetic, it's just very much like what pleases me. Yeah. And I think also... you come from the same school of drag. What did you steal? Hairspray, shaving cream, I stole a glue stick. No, I stole stuff not for glue stick, people. a glue gun, sorry. I stole stuff for people. I stole your turkey head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I really like sitting next to you and getting ready next to you. Fuck you. Because it makes me look gorgeous. No, you're gorgeous. No, do you know what, guys? I'm so obsessed with Octavia. <laughs> Why? I just think you're so hilarious. And. I really do value like your style of drag and like the way you perform is like you're so so amazing to watch. What was your favourite runway that you wore? I loved the look of the new romantics because it was very me and I loved the prompt. My face on that day, however, did not love. But my favourite, um you ain't yet to see. Oh <laughs> whether that's on Instagram, whether that's on the runway you'll have to see. And your least favourite runway? Um, do you have to ask? Princess yeah. Diana! <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like, I just felt really bad when I was wearing it because I just thought, wow, these must feel so ugly next to me in this gorgeous green dress. <laughs> <laughs> and I was wearing puss in my Amazon wig. Did you get into makeup through drag? And yes. What's yeah. your relationship with makeup? Well, I thought I liked it and I thought I was in that bed, but then all the girls were gaslighting me telling me I looked no, um, I enjoy makeup. Like, I yeah, I'm not. I'm, I would never say like I'm a makeup queen. Like, I'm not terrible at it. And it's not like. Where did you've got a specific way of doing your makeup? Where did that come from? I know this answer, but I want the viewers to know. So, Aki, where does the A come from? Your signature A. I don't know if it's anime, but yeah, just that whole like graphic, and mm -hmm. I just think it looks kind of like anime edgy, I guess. Yeah. Um. So I just did it, and then. Sounds like a fake story, but I did two across like this way, mm -hmm. and then I was like, "Wait, if I do what, another one in the middle, that's an A." Mm -hmm. And then at you the saw a Nitro as well. Yeah, well, that's the thing because season fifteen was airing at the time, and I really like just saw myself in a Nitro's aesthetic, and I was like, "Oh, I wish I could, you know, have like something that's typical to me, like an, a scar or whatever." Yeah. So when I did that, I was like. Oh my god, like this is my thing, like I could have like an A, because I've never seen someone do like... Their letter. Their letter, and uh, not only that, but like the letter in general just goes with my like aesthetic and everything, because it's like so sharp and like pointy, because like, I love like a point, I love like using so basic, like a safety pin as an accessory or like a stud, just something like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and then I just started to do it all the time, and then people come up to me, sometimes not even realise, and they'd be like, oh... I've You've got caught... lovely makeup! You've got lovely makeup! <laughs> You've got the best makeup, I'm gonna ask it you! You've got the best makeup, you could be on that show! <laughs> and then they go to you, and you go, what about me? And they go, oh yeah, lovely makeup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lovely makeup, we'll have a good night, mate. 
basically, our first gig together, uh, me and Octavia had just met, and then we were doing promo, and there was these two gay boys, gay men. Were they? Were they men? Oh my god, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, no, yeah, they were gay boys, sorry, I thought it was like a straight, like, random man, like a chaser, but no, yeah, you're right. And they were looking at Octavia, and she seeing how gorgeous she was, saying how lovely her makeup was, I was just stood there and I was like, where's my compliment? Because this guy was going on about it for like five minutes. A wide, like he a was, wide. Yeah, I was, like, was like, like, I can take a compliment in drag, but when someone's like, oh my god, this, and then this, it's, the, it's like, there's so much you can answer and say, like, thank you, yeah, 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 thank you. Like, it's obviously so appreciated, but it's like, Especially when people are drunk, it's very much like, Slay, honey, oh my god, you go so giving hunty, oh my god, yeah, and hunty. And it's just like, okay. But yeah, they were like, you've got the best makeup on Canal Street, which I will never agree with. But then they turn around to you and mm -hmm. go, yeah, lovely makeup. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so for anyone uh, who's going to an Octavia meet and greet, just don't compliment her for 10 minutes. Oh my god, shut <laughs> up. No, that's not what I mean. That's what she means. I'm just She like... meant it. No. Who did you get the closest to on the show? Whilst, um, whilst filming. You can listen oh, to Oh, no, no, whilst filming, I would say you, Kyron. Yeah, Mamali, you and Kyron. Yeah. Yeah, and then after the show, I'd say, still you three, but I see Chara the most because I live next to her. <laughs> Honestly, okay, so backstage tea. I would always joke to Aki and Marmalade to just get a room because Marmalade could just be chatting away, just having a normal conversation, knowing full well that Octavia is just going to be like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, sometimes like, like eating it up. And I'm like, Aki is just losing her mind just laughing at marmalades like but you know it's, like it's fu funny it's not that funny but it's really funny to you and then you're trying not to laugh which makes it funnier mm -hmm. that was me with marmalade all the time mm -hmm. in the waiting room i would be like in the sofa just like trying not to like uh-huh uh-huh like marmalade was just such a like a cow in the funniest way and her humor is very like sure humor yeah but, like it would always be the kind of thing of like mamma coming up to me like yeah baby you better be scared if you're in a lip sync against me because i'm the lip sync glass in <laughs> when she knows she doesn't even have two wooden legs she literally just has like fucking like she just can't dance yes <laughs> and then out of all people, she comes to me and be like, I'm gonna fucking beat you, baby, because I'm the lip sync assassin. It's just funny, because like, she knew it wasn't true. Okay, so who would you Kai Kai with? Oh, honestly, no one. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. That sounds like I'm, I'm saying everyone's ugly, but I do actually have something to confess. Um, before the show, um, I, whenever I see Chanel in passing, I would be like, four. <laughs> <laughs> out of drag or in drag? Out of drag, obviously. Mm -hmm. God, fucking hell, in drag. <laughs> I'd turn around and see a boy here and be like, what? Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, yeah, like, but then when we got there, she was just such a cow, I was like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but honestly, I'd say you, Marmalade. No. Fucking hell. Oh, me! Fucking hell, I pull on her here, come okay, on. So, so you, okay, I'd so... I'd say you, yeah, you or maybe Chanel. Oh, okay, baby. To be honest. No, you, you're hot. You are hot. Yeah. Releasa's ass was unreal. Yeah. And me and Releasa would flirt a lot. Yeah, you'd, you'd flirt with everyone, girl. You'd flirt with the cameraman, you'd flirt with the queen team, you'd flirt with RuPaul. Mm-hmm. So oh, yeah, I'd flirt with Graham. Hey, Graham, you're my gay awakening. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know that gay film? Another gay movie? Yeah, I wagged half of it. Yeah, we. <laughs> now that we're both eliminated, what are you excited for? What is what is in store for Octavia? What do you want to do? What's the dream? What's the bucket list? What's I'm the, uh, excited God. to just 
like prance around, do my thing around all the towns and everything. All the towns and, and everything. everything. Giving a, a bit of ten. Uh huh. But, um, no, yeah, I'd love to tour. Like, the more tours I can do, preferably, like, no, not preferably, but like anywhere. I'd especially love to go, like, to the US one day. I, like, my biggest dream after Drag Race, I think, is, like, work the world. Mm -hmm. And, like, again, it's kind of like what we were talking about earlier with getting on Drag Race. I feel like, oh, that's not gonna happen for me, but then I'm also like, I know I can do it. Like, for sure. No, like, not that I can do it, I will do it, but, like, I know if I did it, I would be Smash really it. very good at it. Only because my type of performance, like, when I make a new number or whatever I picture, I picture on a massive stage. Mm -hmm. So, like, and what, you've seen me fucking walk. Like, when I walk, I just take, like, massive steps. And I'm just, I'm a traveller, like, because yeah. of dance, I'm just, like, always learned to travel around the stage, use every inch of it. Yes. So, like, having that, as well a as backup stage. dancers, uh -huh. where it's, like... No tea, but like we work yeah. in like smaller bars. Yeah, and, and like bars. when you have backup dancers, you can tell that they are trained dancers. Mm -hmm. Whereas the drag queen usually isn't. They're good at dancing, but they're not trained. trained. Yeah, Use sometimes. Whereas me, I can catch up with them just mm -hmm. as much. So I yeah, I would love to do it the world. What about you? I want to do Vegas, you know. Oh yeah, that'd be camp. I think I for me, the dream is Drag Race Live. Vegas. I would love to be on that Vegas stage and be like the showgirl that's so sweet that for you. Yeah, like the feathers, the campery, again the backup dancers. Okay, proudest moment of the show, Octavia. What was your proudest moment? What made you feel like I did the damn thing? And not it doesn't have to be challenge wise or runway wise. It although it could genuinely. Or like being yourself, what was it? Generally, when I walked off, sounds so cringy, but like I am honestly one of the softest bastards on earth. When I left the stage, after like saying like, leave an exit, that was like, I just felt so proud. Aww. No, generally, like I literally was like, just, I just couldn't stop smiling. Mm -hmm. Like it sounds ridiculous, not, not ridiculous, but so like. So your proudest moment was like when you, when, when you placed where you placed, and yeah, because you... I feel like the stress was just kind of over. I had the critiques I got. Like they always said to me, like they loved my energy, and I just kind of thought, like the whole, like as you know, with Drag Race, you know, with with me anyway, I've always wanted to do Drag Race, and then you know you get a few calls, and then you finally get the confirmation, like on and whatnot, and then from then it's just very much like work, work, work. You need to prep, prep, prep. Then you get there, and it's like go, okay, go, 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 and then it's like after it's all done, it's like oh my god. Like, I've, it really just sank in that I've done drag race and I've done well. Yeah. And it was just, like, crazy. And I, I just felt really happy. And, like, yeah, I don't know. So when I left, I just felt proud. Really proud. And then I got back to the hotel. And I was like, <laughs> this sounds so ridiculous. But, like, in the best way, I literally, like, got in my hotel and just, like, fucking sobbed. Mm -hmm. Not even, like, sad, whatever, just everything. Because I feel like... It really is an emotional roller coaster. Everybody it is. It. Everyone says that every season, mm -hmm. but like, it really bloody is. Like, we cried to each other, girl. Like, we like, really did. Hallelujah! What time? Oh, Britannia! <laughs> so let's, okay, so let's do a little showing of all of our repeater badges. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> This is what happened during the show. She would always go to my station and just borrow stuff. Oh, and yeah. just like borrow all my makeup. Yeah, because why not? Favorite critique and least favorite critique. Of mine? Yes. Hmm. Ooh. Favorite critique is that they recognized and really enjoyed all the energy I always gave them. Because that's just something like, is very true? Like they're very clocked. Not that I love you, Octavia. No, not that I love you, Octavia. They just said like they, Recognize that. No, I mean, is that not your favorite? Yeah, but I wouldn't count that as a critique. My least favorite critique? I don't know. I think at the time on the show, because I'm, well, yeah, the youngest queen there. You were, yes. Yeah, and like, I did have a really big pain. I know like all the girls like loved her, like take the piss, even though I knew they were taking the piss. Be like, oh yeah, baby, you still have that makeup out. Mm -hmm. I was still always like unsure myself. And I remember Graham saying to me one day, Rolling off of my favorite critique, being like, "Oh, you always give the best energy." It was like, "Yeah, for example, your makeup just always bam," and I'm like, mm -hmm. 
That feels like a massive fucking read. But it was a compliment. But was it? But um, no, and then also, what made me laugh? This wasn't even like, I'm, I'm bitter about it, it just made me laugh. When Michelle critiqued my Doctor Who hair and called it Pot Noodle, I was like, fair enough, but like, it's Doctor Who. Do you want me to wear like a pretty pussy pussy puss, like wig? Mm -hmm. Like, but I stick by it. And to be fair, I remember Lil saying to me in Untuck, like, I actually really like it because it looks like the same, like, it goes into your face. Mm -hmm. And then Chanel was like, that's what I don't like about it. It's all about opinions. Obviously, like, they are the judges of the show, but it's still their opinion. Yeah. And my opinion is just different on that specific wig. Now, my other wigs, such as the girl group, <laughs> mm -hmm. I will agree with. Next question. What was our top toot of all the runways so far in the competition so far and Ooh, okay. the boot of the season? I think my personal top two, just because I remember seeing it before it was actually on her. I just remember seeing it. She was like, well, she used to do this for every one of her bloody runways. She was like, oh my god, look at this. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god, yeah, this is what I'm wearing. Uh -huh. When a compliment was coming, it had to be Mam Lay's headpiece. Uh huh. Like, it was just so good. Like, uh -huh. all the, tr the train, like, uh -huh. it was just so good. So uh -huh. good. My favourite would have to be Release's Mother Nature. Oh, yeah. Oh, she insane. She looks so good in that hair. Like, that blue bang. Mwah, she looks kiss. so good in, like, like a red and orange, just like mm -hmm. bright, like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. punchy color. Yeah, punchy color. That's yes, one. yes. She looks so good. And top boot of the season. Oh, there's so many. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I would have to say, oh, that's a. Uh... And we love the, we love all the yeah, girls. Of we love all the girls. Mm. I, know. <laughs> I, I actually do. Yeah. Um, Kiki's new romantics. Kiki's new romantics. Which I'd, I think is fair. Yeah. I'd probably have to second you on that and say Kiki's New Romantics. And I love Keeks. You're saying. I love Keeks. Love you, Keeks. But she fucking worked in that outfit. And thank God she wore that and not some, something massive because... She had to lip sync in a girl. Exactly. <laughs> and she killed the lip sync. Okay, guys. So this is the final look. I am so happy that I got to experience season six with you, baby. Honestly, same here. And, and I'm so much. excited for our journey together. Ooh, I know. Um, what is in store for Miss Octavia? So you've got some music videos out. Tell me about that. I do. Well, I just thought, why not like, this is the correct, incorrect word, but kind of reclaim my time from Drag Race. You know, I might not have done the best in the challenges themselves, but you know, lip sync and dancing is what I do. So I thought, why not do a load of music videos and dance videos and then put them on Instagram. So they'll be on Instagram, which is ActaviaX, Facebook, which will just be Octavia, and then uh, YouTube as well, which will just be Octavia. This has been Zahira and Octavia, and I hope that you enjoyed the rest of RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 6, available on BBC and BBC iPlayer, and if you're in the rest of the world, then you can go and watch us on Wild Presents Plus. <laughs> Alright, sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Bye.